Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Shimmer Read. Today I'll be starting a brand new reading vlog. So before I get started, if you're new to this channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe and hit the notification down below. But I'm excited to be picking up my series, or like the series I've been trying to read for who knows how long, and that is the Nevernight series. Uh, this is book one. I haven't started yet, but I am planning to start this tonight and hopefully get at least a few chapters of the way through. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm excited to kind of like document my process while reading this book for the first time. Um, I feel like this is a series that is pretty like well beloved by most people. Um, there's definitely a few like um, you know, different opinions, but I feel like majority of the people that I know personally have really, really enjoyed the series. So I'm excited to kind of like fall in love with the stories, the characters. Um, I know there is like a, a black cat in here that's supposed to be like really cute and like people seem to love this black cat. Um, and there's also like Mia who is like an assassin. Um, all I know about this book is assassins. A girl called Mia. Um, she was like a daughter of an executed traitor and she barely escapes um, but she ends up being apprenticed to the deadliest flock of assassins which is called the Red Church. And kind of things go from there but the one thing that she really desires is revenge. So like I said I'm excited to kind of start into it. I do know that there is a bunch of like footnotes which apparently people either really love or hate so I'm kind of curious to see like where I fall with some of this because I mean for example like look at this footnote like this page right here this is like the regular chapters and it has a little footnote and this is like literally like half the page is just footnotes so I can definitely see this being a little bit confusing. So yeah, we'll just see how this goes. In a way, I can't decide if an audiobook might be better just because um, I think audiobooks sometimes just go straight into the footnotes. So it seems very seamless with how you read or listen to it. Like you don't have to like, you know, put your eyes like to a different part of the page and just read it like a ch apparently like, multiple chapters. I mean, multiple paragraphs. Um, but yeah, anyways, we'll see how this goes, guys. I'm excited for it, but yeah, like... Can't wait to actually start the series for the first time. Okay, so my first update on Nevernight over here. I am currently on page 42. Um, I don't like this book so far. It is very hard to get into. I would say the first few pages was really jarring. Um, let me just give you an example. Cause, like, this is like the first few pages, so it's not really a spoiler, but in the beginning, Mia is actually like, you know, about to kill someone, and it just was the weirdest, like, I don't know like switch scenes because one few paragraphs should be like you know about to kill someone she's like hunting the person down and suddenly it switches off to her having sex and I'll be like like what and then I'll go back into her like continuing the hunt and like killing the guy and then it switch back into you know her continuing to have sex and I'll just be like what the fuck is going on like I'm so lost here so like stuff like that I'm just like it's incredibly jarring it's very hard to get into the book right now her his writing style is just like not what I expected I just feel like I read his illuminate files that he wrote with uh, Amy Kaufman and that book was just like solidly done like I really enjoyed it the writing style like everything was just like wonderful this book I don't know like his writing style for this series is just so different and it's definitely taking me some time to get into it uh, now that I'm on page 42 though I feel like it's a little bit more linear with um you know what's happening right now there's not as many like flashbacks or like you know like switching scenes um that makes it like very confusing and frankly i'm not like the biggest fan of this book right now i'm just like confused i feel like i i don't know like i just i'm just very confused right now um i'm gonna try to read to like about page 100 or so and continue and see how that goes but i mean if i end up dnfing this book like this video will be like the shortest video in the entire world because it wouldn't even be like an entire reading vlog so i don't know like i'm just very very concerned that this book is just not going to be good for me um i might also think about giving it a try on audiobook if i can find it if i can find an audiobook i might try to like pick it up and listen to a little bit um maybe like that will help me with some of like you know the jarredness i'm not really sure so we'll see how that goes but um the footnotes actually surprisingly is not really like you know like off-putting um i'm actually like have no issues with that whatsoever like i'll read it like sometimes i'll read it and i'll get to footnotes when it's supposed to be sometimes i'll read the footnotes like after the page is over and then i'll kind of like look up to see like okay so what exactly was i referencing to um but so far like footnotes actually haven't been issued for me it's really like his writing style and like his like back and forth and 
it's just really weird so anyways that's all i'm gonna say right now for this like quick intro but i am not living this book so far that's all i can really say um i'm gonna get a little bit more and try some more and see like how it goes but that's yeah like i am just <laughs> i'm disappointed um we'll see how this goes <laughs> Okay, so just I'm going quickly to give you guys an update because things have changed. I am now on page 99, so I'm basically at the 100 page mark. Um, I definitely enjoy this book a lot more. Uh, I've definitely gotten used to his new writing style here. It's, it was definitely like jarring in the beginning, but I think I've gotten to the point now where I'm kind of like, I can actually enjoy the story. Um, and I'm really liking so everything so far. Uh, Mia is a very interesting character i haven't quite yet figured her out sometimes i feel like she's still a child because she still has some like flashbacks with her you know her childhood etc um versus what she is like now and other times i'm like she's like really intense um very like fearless uh and yeah like she's just a very interesting character for sure um the other character is trick who have already been established um he's showed up like a few a while back actually um he's also a very interesting character too i feel like he's in a way like a soft boy um even though they're both trained to be assassins so i'm kind of like kind of curious to see like his dynamic because everything so far about him seems to be like screaming like soft boy vibes um which doesn't really like you know add up to the whole assassin that they're trying to do right now uh so yeah and then also the cat the cat has been an appearance his name is mr kindly um i can't decide like the cat or not to be honest because <sighs> i can say it's a very strange character um yeah like it's like the cat's there for i don't, i'm not sure why or how um i feel like the cat just kind of showed up out of nowhere and i'm kind of curious to find out like why the cat showed up and like what what, what happened like, just what happened there like i'm just confused um but yeah i'm excited to kind of like dive more into the story and just kind of get a better understanding like what's happening they finally reached the church right now so like it basically took them like 100 pages for them to get to the part where they can now start training to be an assassin so i'm definitely like intrigued to find out like what will happen next with the training and the apprenticeship so yeah like definitely much better compared to like when i was like 60 pages something like that so i'm happy to say that things have changed for the better <sighs> it is i'm so tired like it is quite late actually but i just got home um from work and i was having dinner at my sister's place etc um so i just want to jump in quickly give you guys an update on my reading for nevernight um okay so i think i have updated you guys in like a day or two I'm not really sure but since i have last updated you guys i started to pick up the audiobook because there are certain times at work where it's just like a lull and i can do something with listening to my with listening to something um so i picked up the audiobook to listen to that while i'm just doing some like mindless things um and i also was commuting to work today so i am now on page 255 i've definitely made a dent to it but honestly i do not like the narrator he has such a weird way of narrating um i feel like he tends to do a lot of like breaths for example there'll be like incidences where he takes like unnecessary like pauses to like emphasize something that like it doesn't need to be emphasized like i don't understand what's going on for example like just the words like i don't know if it's safe right like that's how you say it. like i don't know if it's safe with him he'll be like i don't know if it's safe like what's with all the extra emphasis i just like it just makes the book feel so weird at times because it doesn't make sense like there'll be times when he's like like oh and mia and this and and it's just like a weird like breath that he does like every single like it's just unnecessary and like it's been bothering me so much that i really don't want to pick up this audiobook anymore but it's also like the fastest way for me to read it right now just because it's like i was commuting i was like doing work but like i couldn't read it physically um so like i listened to it but tomorrow i am working from home so i might try to pick it up like on my spare time or something like that and read it physically because i feel like i still prefer that over the audiobooks audiobook, the narrative is just like such a weird like i've never had such a weird like breathy speaker before where he just like emphasizes like like without any like no rhyme or reason um so yeah that's all i can really say about the narrator the audiobook not the biggest fan but in terms of the actual story i don't know i feel like i've been so like focused on like his breathy like narration that 
it's been hard for me to like focus on the actual content um so i feel like i know what's going on but i'm not like super immersed with the story yet which is kind of sad because i thought i'll be like way more invested in the story with the characters but honestly like the only character i kind of like right now is Trek. like he seems to be like a very like smart guy and he's like super like grounded um he knows what he's doing but like his one weakness is obviously mia and i kind of like his like little romance thing with her because it's like kind of cute but it's also kind of like a like a childhood crush kind of thing um so I don't know, I'm like, I feel like they would definitely develop into like actual love in the future between the two of them. But as of right now, it's like a very cute like crush that he's having with her and I'm kind of here for it. He's like a really soft boy despite like their assassins. Um, Mia herself, I'm not the biggest fan of, but she's also very like intense. And um, I still don't really understand the whole like Darken thing as well as Mr. Kindly. Um, I know that like what his purpose is there, but I just don't understand like... Like, even she's not sure about the whole Darkin situation. So I'm like, what is Darkin? What does that mean? Why did Mr. Kindly, like, show up? Like, what exactly is going on? So there's still a lot of, like, confusion on that sense. Um, but also Mia is confused too. So, like, we're both just, like, confused here. Um, but, yeah, overall, like, I'm just... I'm still just along for the ride right now. I feel like that's how I feel about this book overall. Uh, definitely not, like, super invested. So... I don't know, I'm going to continue to read this book today and tomorrow. I hope to finish it like over the weekend possibly. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, but yeah, like I do have a few things I want to do. It's Halloween this weekend, so there's a few like, not like spooky things, but like plans that I've made already. So I definitely want to like, you know, take some time and just like explore the city finally now that things are finally opening up so very excited about that um but anyways i will check back in once i get to reading and hopefully their narrator won't frustrate me to death so reading has been done i this past week has been like just i'm so fucking exhausted i don't know what the reason is or whatever but i am just so tired like i first of all i started to work out a little bit more these days um i re-signed up for like class pass so i'm trying to go back to the gym or well, not to the gym but like to these fitness like studios to like, work out and stuff like that because i really need to have some sort of like instructor there um so i don't know if that's like factoring into it i also was doing like a little mini like staycation but like not really um but i just want to check out this new area out so i was like there for a few days to like check it out and I don't know like it's also like I feel like whenever I go to someplace like different I can't sleep well for the first day or two um so I feel like that also affected my sleeping habits too but anyways point is it's been a few days and I did manage to finish Nevernight over here um I would say that the ending definitely like made up for it it became a lot more fascinating I became a lot more engaged with what was going on I also cannot believe that like what happened to Trick ultimately um it's, I'm not this is not a spoilers by the way so I'm not gonna like really spoil anything um but all I can say is I that came out of blue I really thought that there'll be more but things happened and yeah like I am really surprised what happened to Trick and that's all I can say about him but I really liked him as a character um I also really like the whole like in a way I also kind of like the whole interaction between Mia and Jasmine I don't know why I just feel like they're gonna become like enemies to friends kind of situation and i'm kind of here for that because they're so different they have so much animosity while they're training together that i'm really hoping that as the story progresses they actually form some sort of like kinship and friendship because honestly i'm kind of behind that so i'm excited for that i hope that happens uh, but yeah this first book was dense um honestly like if it wasn't for this vlog i don't know if i want to really continue on the series because i didn't love it like i would give this book like three stars like the first i don't know 100 or so pages was really dry and boring for me and it definitely took some time for it to really like start to pick up the pace um so i don't know i also like super confused with the whole darken situation too like what exactly is that i feel like the book never really answered anything i mean to be fair though me is also trying to find answers herself so we're both just clearly struggling here for like answers um so i feel like because of that 
I'm just confused. Like, I'm lost in certain aspects of this book. Uh, there's definitely a lot of situations going on with the politics and uh, within, like, God's grave, like, the city, as well as within the Red Church itself. Um, just things that she can do, things that she can do, uh, even after, like, everything that happened in the first book, because I did manage to pick up God's grave over here. And I'm now on page 82, so I have made some progress to it. I'm listening to an audiobook right now, even though the narrator is doing a terrible job but it is definitely helping me get through the book a little bit faster so i have decided to keep on with this um yeah like i don't know i just feel like if it wasn't for this log i don't know if i will continue reading it so we'll see like i will try to get through what i can with this book but if it's like just not like really interesting me like i feel like my in a way i feel like my month of reading for october because i started picking up this book then or no, did I pick up in October or November? Either way though, I just feel like my reading like mood has tanked dramatically recently. So I don't know like if it's because of the series or if it's just like things happening in my personal life that I'm just like, I don't know, like just not really in the mood. And this book, the series is just not helping. <laughs> like I just love this like, really good like action packed fantasy. And while it is, it's not living to my expectations. So yeah, but anyways, this book does pick up like right after uh, the first book ends and I'm kind of like low-key excited about Eclipse too. Like if you guys know who Eclipse is, like I don't know why, but I just like the interactions between Eclipse and Mr. Kindly. They're just so freaking hilarious and like that's the only like relationship that I'm kind of like here for besides her and Desmond. I kind of like am shipping that friendship, so anyways, um, I'll get back to reading and I'll let you guys know like how I feel afterward, but it's not going like the greatest so hmm i have come to the conclusion the very sad conclusion and that i will not be continuing on with the series and that is the nevernight series um i finished book one which i gave three stars i just really it was like okay like it was not an amazing read for me whatsoever it definitely felt like i was just reading it for the sake of reading it for this video really um i even was like sh not sure if i want to continue on this video but at the end of the day i still really want to showcase my thoughts while reading this book um in this series that i don't know maybe other people can relate to me or that i can relate with others i have no idea but i did manage the first one which i gave three stars and then i got to the second book which is god's grave which honestly the last time i updated you guys was where i finished reading i did not read more than that um i think that was like a day or two ago that I updated you guys and i just couldn't get into it like i felt like i was just dragging my feet while reading it i just didn't care much for the characters i didn't care much for the plot um and it was just not a good book for me i don't know maybe i'm just on the right mindset for this book but whatever the reason is i just cannot get through with it which is why i was like this book this series is not giving me any more joy <laughs> like i'm just not happy about reading it so i just don't want to like spend more time like wasting my time reading the series when i can read something else that will give me more pleasure um so that is why i'm dnfing it with god's grave over here and of course i do have the third book over here which is dark dawn so unfortunately i would not be finishing the series uh so this series like this vlog is like not like half done really because i'm dnfing the series so yeah i'm just sad i've had like so much expectation for this book and it was on my like five star predictions as well but it was just not a good series for me and now that i actually read this book i do need to it reminds me to actually go back and do like a follow-up to my five star predictions video uh sometime soon because this was the last series that i was trying to read or last books that i was trying to read for that video so clearly my part of predictions was very wrong when it came to this series um but it was just it was just not good guys it was just not good i wasn't happy about it i didn't care much for mia um mr kindly was like interesting of a character like i did really like mr kindly in eclipse together in god's grave i felt like that was super fascinating and i feel like if i had continued to read it i would have enjoyed their dynamics but that was it like there was nothing else that was going for me for this book at all so let me know down below if you have picked up the series and you didn't enjoy it like me because i need some other people to relate with me here i just feel like everyone i know really adore the series and i'm just not one of them like i don't know what it is but i am not one of them so do let me know down in the comments below if you are on the same boat with me or you were on the same boat with me um should i give it a second chance at some point in my future but i just don't know like this book was not doing it for me at all so anyways i'd love to say for this you know vlog where i attempted to read nevernight and failed completely because didn't finish it dnf'd it um 
yeah hopefully I will do another one sometime soon where I hopefully will not be DNFing the series I did one for like a darker shade of magic which I really like I did a whole video on that so I will link that somewhere above and down below um so I do like doing like a series of vlog where I just dedicate myself to reading a series uh so let me down below if you have any other series that you would like me to kind of like do another video on similar to this but that's all I can say for this video this was not a success whatsoever um as always if you like this video please give me a thumbs up or really just help on my channel and if you can see more content of me please don't hesitate to subscribe as well as his innovation down below as always don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram and i'll see you guys next time bye